The concept of autonomy just five or 10 years ago was very far reaching, out of the grasp of reality in, in the realm of science fiction. But over the last five years, we have taken great steps to make this more of a reality to people around the world. Analog Devices is laying the foundation around autonomous systems today. And we've been doing this for a number of years with our foundational technologies around radar sensing, LIDAR systems, as well as inertial systems. And so we natively understand how these various sensing modalities work in these end applications. And it gives us a unique advantage to be able to fuse them together to enable autonomy and improve the overall safety of the automobile. So this all is driving size, weight, and power in order to democratize this technology so it can be deployed much more broadly across a variety of different application spaces, such as in the industrial setting, commercial trucking, robo-taxis are gaining in popularity, and then finally, I think that you will see this in mass market automotive. When you look out in the next 20 years, the number of sensors in the car are increasing dramatically. These types of sensors are the primary inputs into both the deterministic and the artificial intelligence algorithms which are going to be actuating these systems. And so we put a lot of our energy to make sure that the data that comes off of our sensors is of the highest quality to enable these artificial intelligence algorithms. There can never be an autonomous vehicle that simply has one sensor. There will always be a multiplicity of sensors in the car. The challenge of the future is going to be understanding the balance of all of these different sensors. We have to find some intelligent way to combine them so we can get a better result without increasing the cost of the entire system dramatically. Everything that we do has the goal in mind of not only producing the best quality autonomous system, but ensuring that those types of systems are safe to be used by our consumers.